Did you know that the wild pig is one of the few mammal species, including honey badgers, mongooses, and hedgehogs, that has molecular defenses against venom, which makes them tolerant to snake bites? I'm your host, Romy Casanino, and I'm a conservation scientist, writer, and photographer. Every episode will be introducing you to new animals caught on camera traps around the world. These are some of the extents we take to get our SD card. Don't forget to subscribe to Mongave to get notifications about our latest videos. The wild boar or common wild pig is the most widespread of all pig species and one of the widest ranging mammals in the world. It is native to Eurasia and North Africa and has been introduced to the Americas and Oceania. Wild pigs are gregarious, forming groups also known as sounders, of varying size depending on where in the world they live. Usually these groups consist of between 6 to 20 individuals, though sounders of over 100 have been reported. The wild boar communicates with different sounds, which can be divided into three categories. First, we have contact calls, which are grunting noises of different intensity according to the situation. Second, alarm calls are warning cries emitted in response to threats. And finally, combat calls that are high-pitched piercing cries. Studies have shown that piglets imitate the sound of the mother. That is why some litters may have unique vocalizations. Wild pigs are normally most active in the early morning and late afternoon. They will spend between four to eight hours traveling to feeding areas and foraging together. They're omnivorous, though vegetable matter, principally fruits, seeds, and roots, constitutes about 90% of their diet. Wild boars are both highly adaptable and resilient to human pressure and may thrive under conditions of habitat modification and hunting. In some disturbed areas, they have become nocturnal to avoid encounters with humans. Throughout history, wild boars have been a primary resource for hunters, and now they are one of the most targeted animals for recreational hunting, where it remains abundant. However, populations can be depressed in places where hunting intensity is high, for example in eastern and southeastern Asia. Also, in some countries, wild pigs are killed because they are considered pests as a result of their depredations on crops. Currently, they are listed as least concerned by the IUCN due to their wide range, abundance, tolerance to habitat disturbance, and presence in many protected areas. In the next episode, we'll be meeting a species that likes eating crabs and belongs to the genus that in Greek means before the dog. Tell us in the comments if you know what animal it is. See you next time. Mm -hmm.